In this video, we're going to talk about the best online resources for landscape architects, architects, and planners. We'll cover some great websites for inspiration, some great sites for free downloadable content, and even some great Chrome extensions to use as well. So stick around to the end of the video because there's definitely a lot of great resources to talk about here and you're going to want to know about them so that you save the most time and stress possible during your undergrad or graduate experience. Now before we jump in, if you're new here, my name is Carter and here we help future designers with architectural education, visualization, and representation. So if you want to learn more about the ins and outs of the field, then consider subscribing and checking out the channel. All right, with that aside, let's talk about the best free options for design inspiration. Now, I'm sure most, if not all of you guys are going to know about the first one on this list, but if you don't, then you need to be using it for sure. And that site is Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is amazing for a lot of things. Now, it's most commonly known and used for, for people planning their weddings or their dream home but it's actually an amazing tool for us designers as well. It's a really great and effective way to view a ton of landscape architecture, architecture, planning, content, all in a really easy, digestible, and browsable features. People post their designs, presentations, renders, drawings, even real posts and finished work on there. So it's gonna be really an awesome tool to get some free, design inspiration from. So once you spend a fair bit amount of time on it, it's gonna start recommending and understanding what you're looking for on that platform and it's just gonna be a really great source of quick inspiration options. Now the next on the list is also a fantastic option for design inspiration and that website is Issue. Now Issue is not only great for design inspiration but it's also gonna give you some ideas on how different people deal with certain design challenges and how they created narratives for their projects through their storytelling. So it's gonna give you a little bit extra as opposed to Pinterest in terms of how they thought about it, some literature on it, and some also some really high quality visuals and representation on there as well. And not to mention when it becomes time or you're getting ready to put your portfolio together, Issue is going to be your ultimate resource and recommendation to get some inspiration from when you're putting it together. It'll definitely help when you're trying to figure out your style, where you wanna go with it, and how you overall want yourself to be represented to future employers or projects. All right, so now let's move on to some free resources for your downloadable content. Now I'm talking about PNGs, textures, and those sort of things. For your PNG images for sections, perspectives, and renders, there is no better website than Mr. Cutout. Mr. Cutout is going to be your absolute best resource for all downloadable content for PNGs due to it's just hugely wide variety of options and styles. You're gonna be able to get anything from people, trees, vegetation, and vehicles to backgrounds, skies, and objects. Now, if you already knew about this site, you're probably thinking, well, it's not exactly free. And I would say, yes, you're correct, but there is a loophole to make this work for you guys for free. And that's because Mr. Cutout allows you to download up to 2.5 megabytes per day so in order to make this work, you just need to be effective at doing a little bit each day and slowly building up a library over time. Because if you do this for a month or two, you'll have, you know, 100, 200 PNGs by then, depending on the file size you're downloading and how many PNGs you can get per day. And of course, if you did want to get more at once or you had a time crunch, you don't have time to build it up for months in advance, you can always buy just a one month, $15, program and then cancel it and try to download as many objects and PNGs as you can in that one month period. Now next on the list is going to be textures.com. Now this site is fantastic for downloading 3D objects and seamless textures. Now this site is a little bit trickier now because they unfortunately kind of changed their free options, but they still allow you to download up to 15 credits a day, which will get you the seamless textures which in my case, and probably in most people's cases, that's all you're gonna need is the seamless textures for things like Photoshop or other Adobe softwares. But if you do wanna download some 3D stuff for Lumion, Enscape, or SketchUp, or things like that, you unfortunately have to pay now, which uh, is quite unfortunate because you used to 
not have to. So again, if you absolutely needed to, you could pay you know, 15 bucks for a month, cancel the subscription and download as much as you can in that month. So now let's move on to some absolutely fantastic Chrome extensions to add to your computer right now. The first one you're gonna wanna download is called What Font. Now What Font is great because it's going to allow you to see exactly what font is being used on each website, browser, or any picture that has text or anything like that on it. All you need to do is click on the extension button and it'll be activated and then you just hover over the text or object you're looking at and it will tell you exactly what font it is. This is gonna be super helpful when you're trying to figure out a font or say you have to match someone's font but you don't know what the font is and you don't feel like searching for it or asking. You can just turn the extension on and you'll know exactly what it is. So this is gonna save you a ton of time and save a lot of headaches and it's just a really kind of cool thing to have on your Chrome browser when you're looking at something interesting and you're like, oh, I wonder what font that is. Now you know. Now, not only is there a fantastic Chrome extension for identifying font, but there's also a sweet Chrome extension for identifying color. Now this extension is called Black Shrimp and what Black Shrimp does is tells you exactly what hex code, RGB code, HSL code that you're looking at. All you need to do again is click on the black shrimp icon and you'll get a little eyedropper tool and there'll be a text box and you can identify exactly what color in hex RGB or HSL and it'll tell you exactly where it is as you're moving the cursor around. So again, this is gonna be fantastic if you're trying to mimic something, go for a certain feel, see a painting that you like, see a color palette that you really like and you wanna bring it into your design, you can do that really, really fast and easily now. And what's really cool about Black Shrimp is it allows you to create a group of colors. Say you wanted to keep this within a folder for a certain project, you could do that and then export it to your Adobe softwares, which is just an awesome time-saving, sweet feature that this extension has. So these two extensions are must-haves for all of your computers. Download them ASAP. They're super sweet to have and they are definitely the best free online Chrome extensions you can get out there for designers. Now the last free resource we should mention and talk about is a website called CAD Mapper. Now CAD Mapper might be your greatest time saver for city projects as a designer. And that's because this website lets you download complete CAD files of a ton of cities across the globe. So it's gonna let you create these CAD files and have these backgrounds extremely fast without you having to draft anything. And what's even better is they not only give you the 2D CAD, but they also give you the three-dimensional CAD. So when you're building your models or need to bring it into Illustrator or anything like that, they have all of the line work set up for you, which means it's gonna save you a ton of time. You have no idea. I wish this was in school when I was there because trying to come up with backgrounds or fudge in backgrounds when you're in a city project is just super hard. This saves so much time and is such a great idea for the people who created this website and took the time to get collaboration and build out this website as extensive as it is. So make sure to check out this website because it's just, it's great. And I hope more online resources like this come out in the future for this type of downloadable content. But nonetheless, those are some free online resources that you absolutely should know about as a landscape architect, architect, interior designer, planner, you name it. This is great for any practicing designer. Now, of course, I'm sure there's probably a few, if not a bunch of free online resources that I didn't cover in today's video. So if there are some that you know about, be sure to comment below on which one's your favorite and which ones you think should be included in this list. Our field is all about trying to help others out and be as efficient and as least stressed as we possibly can. So the more online resources like this for free will definitely help this field and program as a whole moving forward. So I hope that you guys learned about some new resources to potentially use down the road today. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like. It'll help push this content out to others so they can be helped as well. In the next video, we're gonna be comparing landscape architecture and architecture in hope to bring and shed some light on the differences in field and hopefully guide you in the right direction of what discipline you should study. So be sure to subscribe to see that next video when it comes out and also check out my channel as well for some other great architecture and landscape architecture content too. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me today. So thank you guys for listening and hanging out with me today and I will see you guys next time. Peace.